Hey, how you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another time here in the upper room. Welcome to another time to pray. That's all we got to do when we come here during the weekdays, uh, Monday to Fridays, uh, 11.55 here. We'll get to do a quick word chat for five minutes, go into prayer at noon. They prayed for 30 minutes till 12.30 and close it with another five minutes or so of the word. That's what we got to do here uh, in the Hopper Room. So that's why we're back here today. Uh, with the Lenten season, we've been doing a series we titled uh, Godly Sorrow, right? Godly Sorrow. Today we're going to eat, I uh, believe this is going to be the uh, 22nd uh, part to it. And today is the 35th day of Lenten season. So we have five more days of Lent to go, which is pretty much uh, closing out on Palm Sunday. Uh, then we'll go into the Holy Week starting Palm Sunday. And uh, we've just been doing the series uh, in coincidence with that. That's what God will have us do as we heat it uh, with a study through the book of Daniel. And we're looking at 10, verse 2 and 3, looking at the Daniel fast. You know, that's why we pretty much got in on this uh, trajectory, you know. So we're presently in, uh, we're looking at Isaiah 58 as part of the study. And we're looking at uh, verse 7 so far, you know. So this is going to be the third take on verse 7, you know. And verse 7 reads, if I, if I read it again, it says, it, is it not to share your bread with the hungry? Right? God is saying, when you fast, is it not that you share your bread with the hungry? You know, God, in essence, is saying, talking about the things should be a lifestyle to us. So he's saying that even in the place of fasting, we need to point ourselves towards the, the, the lifestyle that's supposed to be a fasting to remind us of how we're supposed to live normally, right? If we've missed it all the time, like we do, you know, when we come to a place of fasting, it should be a correction for our life. That will learn how to live, how to live, how to walk righteously. Remember that saying that uh, seek ye first the kingdom and its righteousness, and every other thing will be added to you. So when we come to the place of fasting, is that place of directing us to the way to live? the right way to live, the kingdom way to live, you know, where we'll seek first God's righteousness so that every other thing can be added to us. It's like a correction point. It's like a, a beacon, the lighthouse, you know, uh, redirecting us to the trajectory we ought to live our lives on. So God here is telling us what those pointers should be, that our lives should be such that we share bread with the hungry, you know, yesterday we looked at uh, Matthew 25, where Jesus Christ says on the last day, he's going to separate us being goats and sheep. And what marked out the sheep was that they were able to do these things that we're talking about here. You know, this kind of part of Matthew 25, you know. And he says that we're supposed to share bread with the hungry, right? With parallels, again, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28, it says that he that has stolen, let him steal no more, but let him work that he might have to give to the needy, to the needy, to the needy, to the needy. There are those that are needy, not those that are lazy. The needy, not the lazy. The needy, not the foolish. The needy, right? It's saying that those that are hungry to give to them, whatsoever might be that life has hit them in one form or the other, and they are hungry. We're supposed to be guarded having bowels of mercy towards them, right? And to bring to your house the poor who are cast out, right? You know, people that are homeless for one reason or the other, you know, houses to help, you know, to um, alleviate that. And yes, they will spend our time saying that if what we do to house the soul is far more important than what we do to house the body. Solving the homelessness of the body is easy. That you know you can bring a pig out of the out of the mud, but to get the mud out of the pit is the most important thing. Thing you can give anybody a house, they will lose that house if you have not housed their soul. You know, it's in that wise Proverbs eleven thirty tells us that he that wins a soul is wise. He that makes that pig takes that mud that debt away from the pig, not just taking the pig out of the mud. 
That is wise. Right, let's pray. Le priya pa kaza ta brusake pa kaza di kaba. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for praying, ma. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're still looking at Isaiah fifty-eight, well, the seven, and we're on the third part today, and it says, "When you see the naked, that you cover him, that will cover the naked." You know, everything in verse seven is talking about what we do to all the people. If six is what we do to ourselves, I will receive the healing, the deliverance. The seven says what we do to other people. So the third party is talking about those that are naked. You know, first thing we look at what is nakedness, right? It's easy to understand the physical nakedness and it's easy to address that, right? But nakedness is deeper than just the physical clothing. You know, like Jesus Christ would say in the Mount, in the Sermon on the, on the, on the Mount, he says, the law says this, but this. There are deeper things than just giving clothing to people that God requires of us. The Bible talks about Adam and Eve. They said they were naked, but not ashamed. Meaning that their nakedness was supposed to have provoked shame, but they were naked and not ashamed. So um, nakedness is that which brings shame to people. So our place is to cover those that are in shame those that are less than what they should be for one reason or the other. Life has eat them one way or the other. Whether they came from the wrong family, they were abused, their parents, their family, you know, whether it be at work, someone is being bullied, whether it's a relationship, whether it's an abusive relationship. So it's that person has lost the sense of self, right? That person feels less than himself. Yeah, at work yesterday, we we're talking about one of our our, our technical assistant, uh, one of our workers here, yeah, you know, who had gone through life. Life had hit him the wrong way, so it's that he has lost confidence in himself. Right? He has he has been battered by life that is less. He's doing less than he can do. Right? You know, it's it's a graduate, but he's not operating at that level he's supposed to operate at. You know. <laughs> is an example of someone who is naked, right? That we are supposed to, to the level of our ability, bring covering to that person, help that person rediscover himself, help that person discover, you know, the power that is within, the giant that is within, you know, help that person to come above, you know, the victim mentality, you know, that me, why me, I'm this, I'm that, you know, all that negative talk, help, the, help that person come from the place of negative talk to a place of positive talk, help that person find their confidence back in God, you know, help them find the confidence back in God's endowment in their life you know that's an example of bringing covering to someone again from a yoruba standpoint we talk about the people our covering you know is that place also being the covering you know which is similar to the first you know of being the people around people you know get giving people the connection that will make a difference in their lives you know it's not enough to be a lot of people that don't have connection a lot of people don't know how to relate you know there are a lot of people that just have sources but no friendship no 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 healthy connection in their lives you know for whatever reason they are not either able to they're not able to connect they're not able to get the life the benefit that you get from being connected to someone else, you know, and you might have the mansion, you can have everything, but if you don't have people in your life, you cannot be fulfilled. Not that you will not, you mm -hmm. cannot be fulfilled. There are some things that you need someone else to be fulfilled by just belonging, by being important to someone, mm -hmm. by being in the, in, the, in the phone book of someone, by being in the memory of someone else. There's a life giving that it brings to you that someone can have you and say, this is my best friend. This is my friend in whom I trust. Mm -hmm. This is the friend that I call on when this is happening. It, 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 there's a life that comes from that. There's a covering that comes from that. There's a push on the inside that comes from, from having that, you know, and that's what we're called to provide for other people, you know, um, be that friend they don't have, you know, be that somebody, you know, or, or that gathering, that, that roots that they need so that they can soar. There are a lot of people that have wings. They've graduated. They have everything it takes to make it in life, but they don't have roots. 
they don't have any group or setting they can call my own. They can say my family or, or my friends, you know, people I can be myself with, people I don't have to wear a mask, you know, to be with. A lot of people have to wear masks because they want to fit in into that group that they that they that they are in because they don't they, they, they don't have any they don't their natural self does not fit there. So they wear a mask to belong. But you can't do that all the days of your life. You need a group where you don't need to wear a mask. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. That is life. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Anything you want to add to that? Hmm. You said it all. And if you read through that uh, Isaiah 58 from verse 7 to 14, it says more. It says more. How it will heal you know, in our own wound. Just like the Bible says, when you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you are the one that finds peace. So, yeah. Covering the naked is not just covering the naked, it's covering yourself. It's covering yourself. The Holy Spirit will continue to incline our hearts to righteousness in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. And that's true. The Bible says that he that, he that wants friends must show himself friendly. You know, when you become a cover to other people, you automatically win them as a cover to you, mm. right? I have friends to, that do different things for me that I cannot normally do myself mm. or to be difficult for me to do myself. But they, are, they, they, they have sold themselves and feel indebted to me because I have been a covering for them in the mm. areas that I can right yeah. when i yeah. go to my family but I don't, I don't drive i have a friend that's yeah. easy for him to drive or get someone to drive right yeah. but he feels indebted to do that for me because in the areas that i can i have also been a covering to him yeah. Right? Yeah. so when you sow you know you sow your bread upon many waters right yeah. and the areas you need it it will come back to you right yeah. and, and and that's important you know proverbs eleven fourteen says where there's no uh Cancel the people feel uh, no no <laughs> that's the well the people feel well you know but in a multitude of cancel the safety you're just talking about mm-hmm. having people with you but the the other one I was going to say is that he says when you want to is a African proverb says when you want to go fast you go alone but when mm-hmm. you want to go far you go together with other people mm-hmm. and life is a marathon is not a sprint right mm-hmm. we're all going to go far. You're going to go successfully far. Yes. Then we need other people to go along with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Auntie Beauty, anything you want to add? Hello, Beauty. Okay, she's there. Yeah, she is. She's just mute. Yeah, mute or if you are if you're talking. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll just go ahead and well, maybe she's not able to. Anyways, we we'll thank God for we we'll thank God for His Word. May He help us, Thank help God. us be a blessing to other people. You know, Amen. what other people? And when we what other people, we're gonna get wet ourselves. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna get wet ourselves. Okay. You know, and what we do for others is a seed we're we're doing for God. Mm. God is no debtor. Mm. When I sow a seed in the life of a image and likeness of God, God becomes indebted to me. So it's not as much as what that person does for me or not do for me. Mm-hmm. It is what God that becomes mm-hmm. indebted to me will do to me mm-hmm. or do to me and do for me when I need it and in the areas mm-hmm. I need it. Mm-hmm. Okay, just a seed in the, everything we do is a seed and mm-hmm. God is the, is the God of the harvest. Right? Yeah. It's, what we need, when we want help in the future, we need to be a help to someone else, mm-hmm. right? Because it's that help that we we are to someone else. That's that's the advice we're going to read tomorrow, yeah. right? If we're not helping people today, then don't help. Don't expect help <laughs> tomorrow your because help you have not seen the cross. time. Mm. Your help yeah. is a sweet yeah. time. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, beauty's network is problematic, so she's not yeah. able to respond. Mm-hmm. All right, let me let you go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bless you, man. Shalom. God bless, man.